we have a head here. If we want to block out a head hair, one thing I'll do is I'll duplicate something off, and then I'll do an inflate of negative one, and then I'll go into like my clay buildup or my clay tubes, turn off X symmetry. We'll go through here and we'll kind of block in the hair flow and how much I want it to be out or in or however I want to do that. So then when I have this, I can go through here. Let's do a quick polymesh 3D, initialize Q cube. We're going to chop off the top here, and we're going to chop off the bottom here. Now this one doesn't have to be a tripart brush, but if you wanted to, I suppose you could just do this. So it is a tripart brush, but what we're actually going to do is do a group by normals. So it's a different normal on either side. And then um, if you want, you can go brush, create insert mesh new, and then we can uh, rotate this um, what is it, 45 degrees, and then hit B, not hit brush, hit B, create insert mesh append. Okay. And then now you have two different versions. So for both of these, if you turn on stroke curve mode, I believe it'll do it for both. Uh, the modifiers won't, so you'll have to go to like weld point, stretch, curve res, and then on this one, weld point, stretch, curve res. And now you have one that is angled, and then one of this, one's angled, one that's flat. Uh, you can also, underneath your stroke here, and you can go to your curve functions, and curve modifiers, you can turn on uh, curve fall offs if you want to go from like small to large to smaller. Um, now you can have a little bit of fall off there. So going back to our head. Uh, you can say, okay, I want my hair to follow this. So you can just drag a hair out here. Um, your brush size can dictate the size. Also, the depth, remember, is how far embedded it goes. Uh, and you can save these settings out as well. If you want to save this brush, just go to Brush. You can hold down Alt and select Icon if you want to select whatever's on your screen and then Brush Save As. If you go to ZBrush 2018, Z Brushes, that'll end up in your light box. If you go to Z Startup, brush presets that'll load up every time you start up ZBrush and of course if you go into Z data brush presets these are the default brushes that come in with ZBrush so don't save over those but just FYI uh, now at this point you can go into stroke here and you can say uh, you can see there's a snapshot function here so if you turn off bend and snap that allows the curve to bend and also snap to the surface and then you do a snapshot which is five you can hit five and then you can just move this back and you can, um, and then you can turn bend and snap back on, and then you can like move this around however you'd like, and then you can hit five, and then you can drag out a copy or move this copy. Um, alternatively, if you don't like dealing with curves, you can tap off. It's still masked, so you can go through here and you can move this thing around. Um, oh, and you can also twist. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, if you want a helix, now this one you can hit hold down control and just drag off a copy and then do whatever you want to with this thing. Um, but if you do go back into your brush, here that we're using and we go through and we do this remember you can now go through here with control and you can oops oops let's make our brush size smaller sorry now hold on control and you can start uh, oh boy twisting a little bit here uh, to kind of twist along that angle you could also alternatively just like we we're doing with the curves you can drag out this thing and you can use bend curve to kind of bend it around however you'd like so however you want to do your hair this would be a way to start it. So we can isolate that. We can go ahead and split hidden. So we have our hair here and looks like we lost our hair. Let's just do a group by normals. So at this point, what we can now do is if we go over here to frame our poly groups here, and then we just run one of our hair cards down it. We now have extra hair cards off of this thing. You can make them bigger. You can make them smaller. You can make their depth change. You can tap off. You can go ahead and split mass points. And even here we can do another group by normals. So we're just adding complexity to our pre-existing hair. So here is where you can go into geometry, uh, modify topology, you can do unweld groups border, and then you can go into your uh, deformations and you can deflate these to get, give you those imposter crossovers. Same thing for this original one here, unweld groups border, and then in deflate. And at any point, you can go through here, you can go with your move brush and move them all around. You can merge these two down if you want. Uh, you can go through here with your topology brush, or, uh, move topological, or go in here to your auto masking and turn on topological and you can just move one by one. Or you can go mask by polygroups and just move the polygroup, first polygroup that you touch. Um, you can also hit W and then control tap one. And you can rotate these. Um, and use these to do like masking, quick masking for flyaways and stuff like that. 
Um, now UVing these, uh, I use a script at work that goes root to tip. Uh, with the new UV tools coming out in ZBrush, you may be able to do root to tip UVs a little bit easier, but I'm not sure.